This is the movie we're about to talk about. Have you seen it? Have you seen Heathers? Have you heard about this? This is a movie. As Tyler would say. Yeah, dude. Um, Heathers is a quality flick, or is it? Baloney. Baloney. I think this is definitely a movie that does not get the credit it deserves, whether I fucking love it, like it. Um, for me, this is a movie that just doesn't get talked about enough. You hear a lot about like Mean Girls and stuff like that of the world, or even like more popular ones, of course, like, you know, you know. Breakfast Club mm. type of shit. I know how much you don't love you dare that movie, um, but this one amongst the coming of age tales, I feel like it's lost in the mix. And Christian Slater around this time, big deal. Yeah, Winona Ryder around this time, big Huger deal. deal. And still is Who, a big deal. Yeah, and doesn't age, which we were talking I'm about. Talking about that, she's a Not fucking vampire. One bit does she age? So why does this movie get lost in the sauce? Because it sucks. All right, that's it, guys. Um, <laughs> hey, you want to know the answers? No, there, we got them. Like you can, if you watch this movie, if you haven't seen this, watch it, and then kind of in the back of your head, think of all the movies that have taken from this movie. Like Dude, over it's the crazy. years, it, it's really like this is one of those uh, uh, in, in, uh, generational influence movies. Like it's oh, yeah. influenced a shit ton of movies. But it says here on the back, one critic says, "The Los Angeles Times, without Heather's, there would be no Jawbreaker, yes. no Mean Girls, yep. and certainly no Juno." Ooh, yeah, Juno. I, hmm, I, I love Juno. I didn't think about Juno vibes. Yeah, Elliot it also Page had a, kills uh, that. And it, like I was telling you earlier, I think it's because it's. Uh, Slater Christian Slater But there was like True romance vibes in it Some of the cinematography oh. The, the kind of Gritty look of the movie itself Yeah Ron, like, When did this come out exactly I mean 89. He, he definitely is younger here I wanted to say yeah You're looking at No it says 96 here Is that right me. Wasn't True Romance 94 Everybody needs to Google shit I thought this came out before I'll True Romance. Right he definitely looks younger here. Oh, he's definitely younger here than he is in Yeah, that's what I'm saying, dude. So that's just got me confused. My internet will not work here for some reason. Yeah, dude, you're fucking up. 1989. Man. Okay. Yeah, Rider. this was just says 96 on it for some fucking reason. That might be reason. when that DVD release. Maybe. Yeah, True Romance I thought was 94. is 93. <laughs> I was going to say, he's definitely younger here. You can tell. Like, in True Romance, he looks like he's coming to his own. Like, is he, you know, a prototypical, I guess, young man here. Like, he fits the high school vibe, kind of. It's a critically great movie. Uh, 93 critically and 83 audience. So, I mean, people love it. But like you said, it really doesn't... It's one of those movies that should be a cult classic if not i think it, it is, is a cult class, it should be a bigger, cult, bigger classic. cult classic like i feel like this doesn't get the love that it deserves i feel like it because of how many movies take the influence of this movie that alone they makes started it watching a legendary those instead movie. <laughs> yeah and you know what i'm saying like so you can watch mean girls and mm -hmm. you can watch this like the Heathers are the Mean Girls. Like yeah. that's just how it is. The only difference is Mean Girls took a more, a little bit more coming of age, more yeah. uh, high schoolish. And it's more you know. too like the little segment we did last week, where it's like flip the movie around and see it from someone else's point of view. The yes. Heathers, you know, it's called Heathers, but, but we're focused not. on <laughs> the other people, whereas Everybody Mean Girls Heather. is focused on, on the, the Heathers. Pinks. Yeah. yeah. Which, that would have been wild in Mean Girls if it went down Dude, like this movie. that would be awesome. Yeah, like they started getting picked off Heather's first Mean Girls. Fuck, the, the crossover we need. <laughs> Never knew we wanted, awesome. but we need... Yeah, dude. Um, this is a movie, too. It just, it definitely, like, when it was said 96, it does kind of reek of the 80s to me. So it almost is weird that it's, like, the last-ditch effort of the 80s for it to be 89. Well, I think there was movies even in, like, 92 the early 90s carried at the it over. latest kind of carried over the 80s. You know, I know there's some out there that even in, like, the later 90s where they really carry it, but it's just those directors who are oh, like, I, I'm I still in that. love with the 80s vibes. I do that all the time. I'm like, how is this not 80s? I yeah. knew for sure this was in the 80s. I mean, fucking I dazed and confused. Early 2000s and my late 90s mixed up. I always get those two because that... It makes sense. Get, get, that was like the time for high school movies. Mm -hmm. It was like the late 90s, early to mid 2000s was like... 
all yeah. right, here's your movies about high schools. Like, we're going to throw them all at you. Well, so we should feel that way, too, because, I mean, it's not like, all right, it's time for the 90s, completely switch up. It's not going to happen overnight. Like, we just turn off the 80s, turn right. off the 90s. It's going to bleed a little bit and that's into why the next I feel decade. like we're having that kind of a change right now to where, you know, I know we have followed A24 oh, yeah. for a long I've followed A24 since, not their first movie, but since, like, back then. Mm -hmm. And I feel like they're about to boom. You got Damn. A24, Neon, no more come up, dude. Like, more motherfuckers are embracing that type of style. I feel like independent movies Myself are about included. to get more love now, here in the next like decade, I feel like. MCU is going to take over for a while. But They're that, still going to be out. That's the know, problem, the though, too. Is I think there's a lot of people that have fatigue with that type of high-budget shit. They're not so showing it's, it. Refreshing, yeah. I mean, you got the motherfuckers that go to the movies, but there's also a lot of motherfuckers that are just like, I just kind of want to see more bare bones shit. Like all this flashy shit doesn't have as much substance to me. So I think that's why it's easier for A24 to come in and kind of kick it into high gear. Is like the more MCU shit comes out and stuff that's so high budgeted superhero shit, fucking Star Wars. You can just leave it at MCU. They come out the movie every month. It seems like, <laughs> but. People are starting to embrace, I think. There's a little bit of fatigue there where even if you might go see the movie, you know, you feel like you have to because it's like, yeah, it's what my buddy's doing or like it's a popcorn movie. Yeah, let's go do it. But there is, I think, a little more appeal for the lower budget shit. And this one is one of those movies that like there's nothing flashy here. It's just it's a really chill straight to the point. Movie straight to the point. It gives you a lot of different vibes. It's not exactly what you'd expect. I definitely, watching this, did not expect it the first time I watched it to go the route it does. Like, we were even talking the song at the beginning. It's yeah. so, like, peaceful and weird. almost feels like Seventh Heaven type music yeah. or something. And then out of nowhere, you know, Christian Slater comes into the picture. Monona Ryder's Which, riding the wave. And it gets a little weird. And yeah. amongst that, it doesn't, it feels almost off-putting, but, like, in a good way. Like, you, while I'm watching it, I was telling you this, like, there is an element of, like, I got to take a second to realize, like, oh, that's kind of fucked up. Because there's something about the vibe of the film that makes it still feel hunky-dory. And then you have that moment out of nowhere. You're like, this movie's kind of fucking dark. Like, this yeah. is dark. And it proceedingly gets a little more darker as it goes. I think it's really paced well in that regard. I think they did very well with uh, when it comes to <laughs> certain kills where... Uh, one in particular, you're made to believe, oh, this won't kill them, but it does. No, and it you're does. just like, oh, so, okay. No and then safe. The, uh, yeah, uh, the hanging scene, mm -hmm. you know, you're like, oh, shit, but this makes so much sense. And then, oh, oh, shit, okay. It's like it keeps you on your toes the whole entire movie. And I really like and appreciate how they did. And I also highly appreciate Spoiler alert. There's the no first the here. first kill. First yeah. death. Like it's the main character pretty much yeah. of you know the Heathers and it's like get the oh, fuck so out of here. Just the like that. Just <laughs> they pulled a psycho. Yes, just get yes. get that motherfucker out of here. I, I really appreciated that. But like it's one of those movies it it keeps you guessing whether mm -hmm. like how the outcome is gonna be like is there gonna be a happy ending? Is there gonna be like a is this going to be like sad? Like, is he going to follow through with his plans? Like, is like is he getting crazier or is she getting crazy? Like, it's just you ask so yeah. many questions through it's it. It's got you everywhere. And we'll like talk you about said that ending earlier, at some point. Yeah, the ending of this movie is phenomenal. So I love it. Um, one thing too, I will say this movie is actually I think really well acted. It's not great, but for this type of movie, I think it is solid. But it's elevated by the chemistry of Ryder and Slater. Mm -hmm. Like, I love their chemistry in this movie. I believe every bit of, like, the whole scenario of just, like, Bonnie and Clyde, and then one person's like, maybe I made a mistake, and the other one pushes, and the other person's like, man, do I still love them? Do I want out? I buy all that shit. Whereas, you know, like, Slater's just, you know, pedal to the metal, and Winona Ryder's just, like, all in with that mentality, but once the shit starts popping off, it's like, damn, did I make a mistake? Maybe I don't want what I thought I wanted, but now she's consumed in this fucking, you know, love, not triangle, but just the duo of them, just trying to 
fight it out and figure it out. And Slater just trying to keep her on the mend and keep her going through this crazy fucking thing they're doing. And as you're watching, like I said, you're like, this isn't like, this is just fun. But you're like, no, this is fucking crazy. What they're doing is crazy. And there's a lot of stuff in this movie that like you just couldn't make today. Like yeah, even the yeah. substance with all the school shootings and all this shit, like don't it feels a little us, uncomfortable. Yeah, but the word "fag" yes. is in this movie a lot, and it's like I was telling Brandon. Don't cancel earlier, us. It's not our words. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, yeah. yeah. But I was telling Brandon when we was watching because we we finished the movie here earlier, and uh, I was telling him I was like, "Yo, like you can really tell." The change in times with how like loosely they yeah. carried the word fag in there. Like yeah. I sent you all my favorite scene in the movie. Yeah, of I've, course. I can't lie. That scene but, made me crack. Dude, up. it every time. But uh it's like, like Y'all yeah. are going backwards. Yeah. Just like it's like, dude, shut yeah. the fuck up. It's but okay. No, it, it's just like it's a product of the times, man. That's it, that's it. That's exactly what it is. Is this movie is a product of its time. And we're not and soft. I'm so glad we're we make still fun get of straight to keep people too. Movies that were made like in the eras that they were like I'm I'm glad that the cancel culture hasn't gotten so big to where they're like cancel this movie no, it's never like that I got movie. my copy yeah. so back off exactly <laughs> fucking yeah. cancel culture is a bunch of fucking idiots here's another thing somebody said while we're looking at the movie uh, Entertainment Weekly said the best high school black comedy ever made and I maybe could agree with that. I'm trying to think of how many black comedies. That's what I was just it thinking. It gets a little of. darker. That's what makes this movie, I think, stand out. It's so unique. And that's a part of why you forget what you're watching sometimes. Because it seems so innocent and it's jokey. But what is going on is not so damn jokey. Like, I don't know. Oh, man. I'm just glad that's we that, finally man. did a movie like this. Because we haven't really touched on... <laughs> one thing, we've not touched any westerns, which is a crime. Yeah, that and barely any martial arts, which you and me should be ashamed of ourselves. <laughs> like, For real. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, I have not done one Bruce Lee movie. Yeah, on we did. No. We, yeah, we did. Nothing? We? Nothing. Yeah, Fist of Fury. We never did Fist of Fury. What? Promise. Didn't we watch it? We watch it together. We, oh, so we together, just watched yeah. it to watch it? Yeah. Yeah, we were so we're slacking on honestly like our favorite genres. Yeah, <laughs> like, well, you got a bat ping ponging around to everybody, yeah. but because it's four people and that's just kind of no you, know, you got to save it. Well, I've got to do my fair share of Van Damage. So that's good. Yeah, but we I don't think we've done a coming of age type of movie Nothing with like the this. schools yeah. and shit. Like what's like what's a movie that is based around in a school that we've done? I can't think of one. Then you, because I can't. And that's a big reason why, because like I've seen this movie like four times. I remember really enjoying it the two other times I saw it when I was younger. And then finally, I'm like, it was one of those movies. I'm like, Heather's. I'm like, why have I not fucking watched that in forever? And I bought it like three years ago. And I was like, dude, yeah, maybe even better than I remembered it now that I'm older and can pick up on things. And then rewatching it again, nothing's really changed for me. It's fucking great. Yeah, this movie definitely wouldn't regret watching this if you watch it. Yeah, so the ending, though, <coughs> I mean, that got so, yeah. kind of crazy. Like, even going back when they're in the house, and then he's picking up the knife, and he's fucking, like, around with her, and then she's, like, hanging herself. And not. Yeah, the shit, the hanging and all that, I forgot about all of that, so I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah, as I was watching it with you, <coughs> even though, like I said, I just watched it again three years ago and still loved it. There were some things I was vague on, but I remember I loved the ending, and I was remembering a few things. I was like, how much do you remember? You're like, not much at all. <laughs> yeah, no, like, because it's been longer than three years for me. It's, mm. uh, I don't know. This is probably one that I haven't watched since high school, honestly. Yeah. <coughs> Might have hit home then, but, shit. Uh, Oh yeah, but this watch was the best watch for me. Yeah, uh, no, you know, spoilers for my score, but yeah, I love this fucking movie. Uh, yeah, yeah, the <coughs> ending though, dude. The the, ending, yeah, ending. that's right. That's what we were talking about. The ending, yeah. I, I think it's fantastic. How they, because I'm, I'm so sick of fake deaths because of basically because of the MCU, the fake death universe, yeah. independent movies. Uh, <laughs> but this movie has two of, like, some of the best fake deaths when it yeah. comes to the hanging scene and mm -hmm. the fucking... Because the emotions from Slater is what made the hanging scene so good for me. Yeah. Hit, the way he was reading that letter and everything, like, he was just... like, But there was no emotion that she was dead. He was like, oh, it's whatever. I'll just read this off to a dead person. And yeah. Away, you know? And fucking I love that, path. but 
the ending where you know she confronts him over because he's got a fucking he just rolls up in the high school with TNT. Yeah, bombs, he's just putting like bombs everywhere, dude. A bag full of dynamite and uh, all over the place. So putting it all over the school, she confronts him in the boiler room, and bro, like you know, SmackDown basically happens. They get into a scuffle and yeah, he fucking kneed her in the face before <laughs> then too. Dude, yeah, straight like well, he like headbutt. He's like, you never said Simon combo. says. <laughs> dude, I love that. How he says you didn't say yeah, something. Yeah, smacks says. the gun away. Because he saw Boom. that emotion in her face. He's like, you won't shoot me. Yeah. But, uh, it was all a big test. So she, like, tries to get him to stop the bomb. And, you yeah, know, comes he's with a fire extinguisher. Her. Yeah, dude, gets hit. He, she hits him straight up in the, like, back of the arm with it. Knocks him down. I was like, please don't be knocked out because I'll be so upset. <laughs> yeah, and it was kind of like at that point, just like, he's even like, are you really? You could have hit me in the head right there. You went for the arm. <laughs> yeah. So she, he's even like, because, you know, later he says he's surprised. Like, you took it there. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. But in that moment, he's probably like, come on, like, in the arm? Like, you're really not? Like, I'm about to blow up the whole school. I expected more out of you, <laughs> yeah. and now I don't. But I might have pushed you to that point. But, yeah, she she ends up shooting him. Yeah, you know, in the says, fucking hand. He's looking at it like, Shit. Oh, yeah, he flips with the bird, and he's just sitting there. And do, the, the camera shot of this was so incredible because he's just like, fuck you. And then all of a sudden you hear a bang, and then a finger just explodes. And yeah, it's, it's like, like yeah, oh, it's damn. Like, <laughs> and he even he looked at, at it and like, he's like... And he looks back at her, and it's like you can tell the shock hadn't... Or has already kicked in, and you yeah. can feel it. And then he's like, oh, shit. Yeah. Falls to the ground, and I'm like, yeah. yeah he's that. looking at her like, oh, you really went there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then it was kind of just like, okay, you're not going to do it again. Like, maybe it was a lucky shot, and you didn't right. mean to shoot it. But she's just got stern look all over her face like, no, stop the TNT. Yeah. And boom, again. Yeah, he stalled her, too, for a little while. I was like, dude, he's going to stall her till the end. And I would have loved if the ending blew them both up and the school. I would have loved that kind of ending. But we don't get that. Yeah. She shoots him in the stomach. And the way it happens, even it being an older movie like it is, I was like, okay, hell yeah, he's dead. Yeah. But then the, the ending happens. And which it's is like, dope. Dude, she's out there like no fucks given. Yeah, just walks out, yes. lights up a cigarette. And then here he comes, and it's such a casual conversation. Yeah, he's just like... It's oh, so casual, and I love that about this yeah. scene. And Stands in front of her at the bottom of the stairs. Yeah, opens up his jacket, and he's got <laughs> the TNT strapped to himself <laughs> now. <laughs> and he's like, you know, I, you have it in you. He's like, basically, you got my respect. I'm just going to blow myself up. You yeah, know, which is dope. And the scene carries on a little bit of humor in there where the, the ticking time bomb stops and then, you know, he smacks it and yeah, it starts yeah, up. Get it going again. And part of me wanted to see him actually blow up. I love the decision. Of but God. the fact that it went back into the school and they just hear a boom and they're all like, yes. everybody just stops. Well, like, the what camera the fuck went was that? High angle. And I yeah. love how they did that because I was like, oh, are we about to just see a head fly? And it, it's not, you just, you hear the boom from inside. And then the camera pans out. This is where, like, the cinematography for me is, like, yeah, amazing. Because it comes it down that. the steps and the smoke. Mm -hmm. No, something I was going to touch on. <laughs> and here's Veronica just chilling with her cigarette, which I'm pretty sure she lit because of the bomb. Because I've never <laughs> seen her light it. So yeah. I think the bomb lit her cigarette. She's just chilling there, all fucking hair everywhere. Yeah, like, know, like it's nothing, dude. Black in the face and shit. Like it's nothing. <laughs> yeah. She just stands there like a G, just dude, like, it just it's so dope. And I'm cool. And yes. she just wanders back in the school like it's nothing to. Yeah. Like and she just everybody's goes into like the pep rally. If you watch thing. the kids passing her, you can see like a couple of them like turn around and look at her and be like and then fucking just keep going. Blood all over her. This head bothers me in black. movies. Not in this one, but it bothers me in movies when like certain like little nitpicks like that where they're walking through and it's like if I was one of those people and you walked past me looking like that. I'm not just going to keep walking. I'm going to be like, yo, what the fuck just happened? Like, nah. why are you, like, looking like you just were next to a bomb? Everybody's just leaving. Yeah, just maybe, like, like she I just said, approached that kind of badassness now where they're just like, I don't even want to talk to her because she might kill me. Yeah, well, fuck it, bitch. I'd probably do the same thing. The too. vibe. <laughs> yeah, it just worked, dude. I mean, this movie is just... Again, what you were touching on, I want to touch on too. The cinematography is way better than it needs to be for this kind of movie. Some beautiful shots, some great creative decisions with how they took the shots, for sure. Um, and honestly, overall, the forgottenness of it <coughs> makes it even more important to me. And above all, the uniqueness. When I watch this movie, I'm like, I feel like there's, even though those other movies are similar and they borrowed from this, 
I can only really get this with this movie. There's just a certain vibe with this movie that feels exclusively to it amongst all the other coming of age fucking high school movies that makes it so special where one moment you're like, this is fun and like it's light and it's great. But the next moment you're like, this is fucking fucked yeah. up. And you got to realize that it's, it's a crazy and it's not an movie. easy pace to keep up. Like, no, it's really not. They do it effortlessly. Freaky. You feel like it'd be off putting, but it works when they switch everything. Right. Like, exactly. On a dime. Like, because they nothing. did it right, though. Like, I know I love the movie Freaky. You hate the movie Freaky, but I know Freaky is. <laughs> Everybody like that. loves that movie, though. But the problem with There's Freaky. There's elements I love of it. That I have is that, though. Like, that's one of my only problems with it is the fact that. It's not effortless. They don't really. Change a pace. Know how to keep that pace going. And, like, with Heather's, it was. The pacing was perfect with it. Like they knew when to come back with the dark, and then they knew exactly when to go with the light. And I think Freaky kind of sometimes it freaks you out too. You're like screwed itself. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there's elements that would freak you out, and it's like, oh, we are in the dark now. Oh damn, this is very dark. (laughs) Like you just weren't ready for it. It came through so seamlessly. You had to be like, wake up. Like this is fucking really fucked up right now. Good fucking movie, dude. For sure. What about scores? You what are you scores? thinking? What am I thinking? I think we might be in the same area. So you say the first number first, and then I'll say mine. Eight. Eight. Yeah. Okay. This movie is like when I think about it, it's weird. This isn't one of my favorite movies of all time, but every time I initially think about it, like it seems fun, more fun than like almost any movie to where it feels like it should be up there. But overall, I think it's that uniqueness. But when I watch it. It does come down a little bit, but it's still always a fucking blast. And I, it's such a fucking good movie that more people need to see. This movie is an 8.6 to me. Nice. It's so fucking good, dude. Gotta watch it if you missed out on this one and you don't mind spoilers. And this is your cup of tea. Even if it's not your cup of tea, it's unique. It's its own thing. And you deserve to see it as a movie fan, seeing the ripple effects that came with other movies that are like this, but not quite like this, because it is unique. Definitely check out Heather's. Um, my favorite watch of this, uh, I will say, because of how many movies have come out since my last watch of this, that have replicated this, yeah, my score has like, gone up. It's kind of like, man, I've been sleeping on this one a little bit, kinda, man. Yeah, yeah and kinda. like, damn, like, this was OG shit, and it did it even better. Uh, this movie has a lot going for it. It has a lot that could be problematic, but I feel like, personally, just works. they got they got through with it. Um, I can see, though slightly where some people might not fuck with this movie i can kind of oh, yeah. see that i'm curious what tyler and josh uh, with they i could see tyler and josh like it was just weird for me I but think, also i don't know they might enjoy it i too. think it'd be more of a tyler than josh movie honestly. see i think opposite Dude. i think well i feel like they both probably wouldn't like it that much where like i feel like tyler would be like a safe like six or seven Whereas Josh would be like, yeah, I don't fucking get it at all, and be like below a five, or he would he would be, a, but he also would be a higher chance of rating it high. Right. So it's like comfortable with Tyler, but not great. But Josh could either go vroom or vroom, either way. I feel that. I hope they watch it. I no, do. I think I think Tyler's going to because he was asking where to watch it. Yeah. I watched it on Prime, so yeah, I know he Prime needs and to. Peacock. Uh, Hopefully Josh does at least. He usually sends us the scores, so he definitely needs to watch it. Yeah, I think I'm really comfortable giving this movie an 8.9. And I think because... So talking about... Yes, yeah, sir. Up top on that one. We did good. We'll it was work perfect. On it. Uh, yeah. Mainly because of, like, the influence that this movie actually has and the fact that, you know, it's as enjoyable as it is, even though it's as dark as it, it is. It doesn't feel like it has who's, any right to be. But yeah. Uh, Michael Lehman, I know that name, mm-hmm. the director. Yeah, but yeah, I think I, well, I think the together. casting was so perfect with Winona and and Slater. But Slater, here's my question for you: eight point nine for me, by the way. Yeah, you uh, said it, but yeah. Which which chemistry is better for you? Theirs or True Romance? Dude, I actually like theirs better. See, I'm True Romance. But <coughs> I mean, I get it. 
And True Romance is probably a better overall put together movie. Even though I think I gave them like the exact same score. I might give I True Romance. I brought down actually, but I still love that movie. Anything above the eight is there for me. But I think I gave True Romance eight point five, eight point nice. six. But as much as I really like Patricia Arquette and the music, I, f- I don't know. There's something special about the there's something special about the vibe of this it's, too, though. I don't know, dude. It's tough, but I don't. I don't know. That's a fucking hard one. It's Almost. like I believe their chemistry, but I believe it in different ways. It's more of like my taste for the moment. It's like Arquette and Slater, they're so ride or die with each other mm-hmm. in the Bonnie and Clyde, which is great. But they have the fallout and then like the respect. And yeah. the, it's just like... They had more closure to their story than yeah, true Yeah, it's a different type of chemistry. So it really depends on the vibe. But, like, right now, coming off of just watching Heathers, and I like the kind of darker, just like, so this is it, huh? Like, I think I, I prefer Heathers by hair. I can dig it. I think, but it's... Dude, that's tough. Like, that's... Honestly, both of those movies, Slater, he's got two of my favorite on-screen couple pairings between these two movies Slater was the shit back then man Slater was the man that's good shit alright Heathers watch that shit if you have not my god or not oh 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 turn it off you're working on it you're working on it okay we're gone